does it change? Hi, today we have a Honda NC750X here, which is in desperate need for a new rear tire. So let's see if we can get this thing changed with the help of the Rabaconda Street Pack Tire Changer. This one here is really worn out. Put it over the center spindle. I'll make sure that the wheel support plugs are under the rim and the tire. And adjust the beat breaker so it's nicely close to the edge of the rim but not touching the, the rim. And push the bead off the rim. Okay, the first bead is pushed off. I'm, I will flip the wheel around. Do the same thing on the other side. After breaking the first bead, the bead breaker might need some adjusting for the second bead because in case of the first bead, the tire is resting on the wheel supports, uh, but in case of the second bead, it is supported on the rim because the tire is pushed off. So. This side is definitely more stuck onto the rim. Let's see if we can get this off. Oh, here it comes. I can see from here that there is no tire pressure sensor on this rim, so we don't need to pay attention to the position of the valve. So, the next step. Let's get some bead grease onto the tire. I'm using a Rabaconda bead grease. It's super slippery. and makes the mounting and dismounting of the tire much, much easier. Okay. Get some grease here. Now I'll take the duck head system mount it on the rim I'll put a little bit of grease also here on the duck head always makes it easier and now I will position the duck head at 6 o'clock Grab the wheel rotation blocker, put it through the hole in the frame. It's, this should be always in the most outer hole that is available because this reduces the pressure that the wheel will put on the pin. Now I'll just use the tire iron. And here from the top, I'm pushing the bead into the drop center of the rim as much as I can because this will make pulling the tire iron much easier. And now it's time for the ratchet system to do its, do its magic. First bead is dismounted, 
Time for the second bead. Here we go. Tire dismounted. And here is a new tire that is Continental TKC70. Let's lube it up and mount it. Never attempt to change a tire without a good quality bead grease or, or a tire mounting lubricant. <coughs> it will make it so much easier and it will also seal the bead on the rim when it dries off. Also, in case of hard car cast tires, it is much easier to mount the tire when it's hot. So in case you're struggling mounting with a cold tire, warm it up and it will be much easier. Now the rotation of this tire is this way, which means I have to mount it that way. Yes, that's it. So, usually the first bead goes on quite easily, but the TKC70 isn't the softest tire, so I will use the help from the ratchet system again here. I will try if I can get this thing mounted without the drop center tools. If not, I will grab a pair and use them. Okay, now it's important to get the tire that is already mounted into the drop center of the rim. And this will ensure that the remaining of the tire goes on easily and safely. Here you go, tire is now mounted. Um, I will use the bead breaker to help me get the duck head system off the shaft. We ask, does it change a Honda NC750X rear tire? Yes, it does.